We're broadcasting live from Hexon, Texas, home of the spoilers. We're at AK-47 Stadium where the fans are required by law to carry firearms 24-7. So put your bulletproof vests on and let's go, America! This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Nuke London Hatriots take on the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hobby who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said, how, not who, you idiot. Even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Oh, that was totally uncalled for! And that's why we love the NFL! Second down and nine. Interception, and that's how you stop an offense. And he just slipped away like a cow with the brain scrambler. because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. And the cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Still on Silo. I will hell it on Silo. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt! Should move him back. Oh, he probably thought it was an earthquake. I bet he wishes he was right. In between being digested, that is. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Brick? Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans.
And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Second down in a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Defense holds him to a four yard pickup there. Oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore win. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot one. Hot. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Oh, no good. Well, that punter's getting... They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. And he's running like a... He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Bring up third down and seven. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. hot. Broid range. How do you like your brains? Scrambled across his cleat. Oh, that worm grabbed him by the head and didn't let go. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He is fighting for every... And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First and ten. Ah, another interception. You should give this guy a bigger pick. But, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks.
First down in less than a year. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to live. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. It's first and ten. And he laterals the ball. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field and boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. Second down in a very lot. Oh, man, what a throw. That Sonic, oh, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. First and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now.
And that'll be second down and four. First and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Second down in a lot. point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. He's not going down. Shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down in a very lot. QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full of... Oh, man, he... He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 20, they're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw buck riding on this asshole. You know, some would argue that demons don't have a place in this league, but with moves like that, I have to disagree. Nah, no, you're just saying that because he'd rip your face off and use it for book binding. I don't see how that's not a valid reason. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Brick. Destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. 
And it's first and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. Oh, that's huge. Looks like the defense has it. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and six. And it's two minutes left in the half. I can't wait to the halftime show. Second down and six. Take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. Third down and nine. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. That's his dance? My floor wizard vacuum bot has better moves. I dance with my vacuum a lot, Grim. That's not wrong, is it? It is when you make it dinner and buy a Perfume, you pervert. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. It can kill people. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. They use their second time out, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. First and ten. Three yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders. The defense lost another line basher on that play, and only two remain on their roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have it intercepted, though. Oh, he just got popped big time. Oh, my God, I thought his head was. Defense has only one line basher left, and they need to keep him alive to avoid forfeiting. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. 
Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up second. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. They weren't even on the same page on that play. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new... Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. <laughs> he could go all the way. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. hit oh man he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy gotta love it he should bite his head off for an encore grim and it's first and ten Second down and long. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Droid rage brings... Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And they saved the deli. Who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? This guy's a brick shithouse. You can't keep a good... He's at the 20. The 10. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. Yeah, man, I was keeping on the head of now. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he's off to the races. And it's first and ten. And he's 
shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Threads the needle for a first down. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. First in and three. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. First and ten. It's your time to go. It's your time. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And the offense retains possession. And the MFL winning is really about, oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. First and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Beaver Brain ran with a ball and didn't fall out. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. And it's first and ten.
receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. And goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Air ball! Hey, did we start running ghosts into the MFL grim? No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. Second down and ten. If you don't hear it coming, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run! Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham! Oh, and if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> I know, I hate those zebra men. <laughs> Second down and more. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. Second down in a mile. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker Drug. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. He did it! He scores! And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. The defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard that Time Warp Dirty Trick uses advanced alien black hole technology. Yeah, your entire life is one big black hole. Oh, what a brutal hit! Third down and never gonna happen. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. Oh, man, you can't hate with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Bam, say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. He broke free and has open field in front of him.
comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. player who goes down fighting. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Second down and ten. Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla. Oh, that's got to hurt. Snatched in midair by the worm. Too light. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. He's at the 10. He scores. He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior? want kids to think I'm cool. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. They need to play smart from here on out. That's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kick and job in half? They just be caught. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, that worm grabbed him by the head and didn't let go. And the worms go to the bathroom, Grim. Or did he just grab dirt, you think? And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And he just wrestles away from... Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The defense is down to their last line basher. He's going to have to suck it up and not die out there. They can bribe the refs in this game. Why not bribe the Grim Reaper? And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. The 30. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. The offense must forfeit the game because all their quarterbacks are dead. There's no one left to throw the ball, so this game is over. Well, that's one way to win a game. Kill all the players on the opposing team. Eh, don't seem fair, Grim. Hey, life's not fair, dipshit. When it's not kicking in the head, it's kicking in the balls. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good.
Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Second down and five. There were any functioning brain cells before that hit. They're good. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Second and three. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. No matter how many years in the league, I gotta tell you, this don't get any less scary. Oh. <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just... The Hicks and Oilers get crushed literally and lose by forfeit today. They battled hard but didn't have enough to get it done. They should be ashamed of themselves. I know I am. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.